I'm going to give away one of my biggest secrets in this video. How can you make an AI agent that will scrape anything? Let's jump into it. Now, this process is actually incredibly simple. I'm just going to run you through what you can see on this screen. Just this is an AI agent, right? And basically what it does is it makes a choice whether to use Gina AI or Bright Data, depending on the website that it visits. So let me just give you an example here. If I just go on isuit.it, now you can see that this looks like any other website, right? But if I just go to gina.ai, which is my preferred scraping method, and I just put, for example, here, isuit, you'll see that this probably won't work. Uh, I bet it does just works now just to be annoying. Actually, I think the homepage does work. It's other pages that don't work. So let's just see. Okay, yeah, so the homepage works. Let's just try a different page here. And even if this does work, guys, this is just an example, right? Let's just uh, pretend this doesn't work. Okay, anyway, after some time, this will stop working, mainly because of Cloudflare, right? So iSuit is actually protected by Cloudflare, meaning that sometimes scrapes will fail. So how do you make a universal scraper that never fails? So basically, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go on Google, type in Agent SDK OpenAI, right? And we'll just click here. And basically, all we're going to do is we're going to make an agent and you can use the responses API as well. I'll just use the OpenAI agents SDK for this um, just because I think it's one of the more interesting ones. So we'll just copy this and then all you need to do is go to your preferred coding agent. I'll use anti-gravity just because it's free. Just before continuing guys, a quick word from our sponsor, me. HarborSEO.ai is now free for three months. We're updating this thing pretty much every single week. If I show you the latest feature, if I just go on the linker here, we just created a link bait building feature, which basically generates these pages that you can see here with, for example, an infographic or a calculator or something like that on it, which will help you get backlinks, but also huge amounts of traffic that will get you in LLMs and also to the top of Google. Also, just another quick thing to mention is we're also currently offering 50% off our backlinks. So if you do need backlinks and you just need that little bit of an extra push for your business, then you can get some extremely cost effective links right now, 375 a month with a 50% discount on top of that. The first three months are 180 euros for 28 contextual backlinks going all the way up to 204 backlinks. Uh, and obviously this is 50% off as well. So definitely guys, sign up for Harbor. Harbor itself is completely free. The backlinks as well are 50% off. Come and talk to today or just sign up harborseo.ai. Thanks for the extension. Let's get back to the video. Okay, so from here, we just need the agents and probably the running agents and the tools page. So we'll just grab the agents page and we'll put it here. And running agents page, and again, put it just here. And then finally, the tools page, and we'll just put that here too, right? And then Gina is much simpler than the OpenAI SDK. So we only need like this code right here. So we just copy this code right here. And again, go back to anti-gravity. This time we'll put it at the top like that. And then finally, the only other thing we need is bright data. So we'll just go to brightdata.com. By the way, there is a link in the description of the video if you want to use bright data. So we'll just log in here. We use bright data for Harbor, for example. So we'll just jump in to my account here. And they actually have a very, very simple setup now. Uh, it used to be a lot um, more difficult, but now it's kind of easy. So the one one is web unlocker. So if you go to proxies and scraping, right? And then if you go to add and then unlocker API right here. So you can see here we've got uh, Web Unlocker 2, sure, uh, Unlocker API, there we go. And I think you can just press Add here like that, and then Yes. And then it will give you all of this information right here. So you can choose uh, whether you want to use, so we'll use Node.js. Um, I think that makes the most sense, actually. Does it? Yeah, no, this is okay. We'll use, we'll use Shell. So we'll copy this. And then we'll put that here like that. Now, as far as I know, we should have absolutely everything we need. So we'll just control A, control C this, and then open a folder because I just realized I'm not inside a folder. 
So we'll call this universal scraping method, right? And then open that. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just say, start a new Next.js project. Um, and then just press enter. This will just, yeah, basically run through the entire setup for Next.js. Okay, that should be good. We should have a project set up. So if we just do uh, CD and npm run dev, there we go. So we just have this basic um, page set up. So then I'll send this, right, which is the prompt from before. And let's just write a little prompt here, actually. We don't want to just send this as it is. So we'll just say, make me a universal scraping system that can take any URL and then find other URLs relevant to the keyword that is given. User inputs URL plus um, keyword, and then you find relevant pages and scrape them all, then output all the scraped information, such as product information, pricing, images, and anything else that you, that makes sense to help write an article afterwards, right? I'm going to press enter here. Actually, I'll just say, also give me a way to play around with this system on my Next.js project. And then we'll just let this run for a little bit. Okay, so as usual, stupidly fast from Google Flash. So we'll just say leather bags here, I guess. And then let's go and see if this works. Okay, so we can start to see that we, you can maybe start to see my logic here. So it scrapes eye suit, it finds accessories, briefcases, accessories, poche, accessories, travel bag, women's bags, accessories, backpack. Now it's starting to extract everything. This is insanely easy insanely simple this stuff is unbelievable guys honestly you have to try this trust me you can build some amazing things like this really really amazing things so in literally like 10 minutes i've replaced something that took me years to make right just because the open ai agents sdk is just so powerful okay so just because i don't have a database on this project for now i just have this raw json thing but you can see we have images, we have everything that we wanted. So if I just open one of these, you'll see this is in fact an image, right? And then if you want to know what the point of all this is, if you take all of this, right? And you just go to any chat and just say, take this JSON and write an article um, about the topic uh, using HTML, CSS, make it really cool and stuff. I don't know, obviously improve the prompt, right? And then bang, you're done, right? Now this will just write an entire article, but it's context aware, which is what Harbor does, right? This is how I built Harbor from scratch. And I've just shown you guys absolutely everything you need to be able to scrape any page. Okay, so ChatGPT's lost its mind a little bit, but you know, you kind of get the idea. This isn't supposed to be the final result. It's supposed to just be an article, but um, yeah, ChatGPT has decided to um, <laughs> make something completely different entirely. But you can see it's context aware. That's the important thing. So we have bags for women, backpacks, accessories, briefcases, etc. And this wouldn't necessarily not rank on Google, right? This is actually a pretty interesting page, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you would want kind of a normal blog post and not just some completely mad page, of course. But I do still think this does look pretty damn cool. So yeah. That's it, guys. Scrape anything with this method. You need Gina Bright Data. You need both because a lot of websites Gina will not be able to handle. And the AI agent will be able to decide between whether or not to use Gina or Bright Data depending on whether or not Gina fails or succeeds. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.